So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a player review on one of the highest rated players in the game and that is of course 93 rated Messi. The footage in this video was recorded at the FIFA 18 capture event so once again thanks to EA for inviting me down. Anyway, in the comments below let me know if you've used Messi in FIFA and how he was for you. Even if you've used him in draft or just online let me know how he was. And also if you could leave a like on the video that would be awesome. Let's Let's, you know, let's smash over 500 likes just like we did easily on the icon on re-review. Moving on and into the in-game stats. It is of course a 93 rated card so you know you expect some very good looking attributes and that's exactly what we have here. So where do we begin? How about with the dribbling and the finishing? The 97 dribbling and the 95 finishing. Now why do I bring them up? It's not just because they're incredibly high stats, it's because they are the highest stats you can get on a non-informed card in Ultimate Team. This non-informed Messi has the highest dribbling and the highest finishing of any normal card in Ultimate Team 18. His ball control stat of 95 is also the highest in Ultimate Team, but he actually shares that record with Neymar, who also has 95 ball control. So yeah, some pretty impressive attributes, but how effective are they in-game? Well, let's get into the in-game clips, and we'll talk about his in-game performance. It is worth noting that I used this Messi card in two different teams, one where he played at right wing, and one where he played at right forward. He did originally start at right wing, but um, you know, he was alright there, but I wanted him to be involved more, and just, um, just more able to cut inside more, so I moved him to right forward for the latter game. Games. Okay then, clip wise, what are we going to see from Messi? Well, like I've said previously, you're going to see a lot of cutting inside and you're going to see some interesting finishes, especially this goal here, which I found to be quite interesting. So we're in the dying minutes of the game, we need to grab a goal, the ball goes out wide to Sanchez, his shot unfortunately bounces off the keeper, but Messi is in the right place at the right time and bounces the ball over the defender and puts the ball in the back of the net. An interesting finish but an effective one nevertheless. In the footage you'll see how good Messi is on the ball. His close control is incredible, his dribbling as a whole is amazing, and in general, he's just enjoyable to use when in possession of the ball. He's fast, he's fluid, he's agile, and if he is given any space at all, he's gonna cause trouble. Which brings me on to a negative. Yeah, it's shocking, I know, he does have a flaw, and that is of course the strength. Now, some of you may have picked it out at the start when we looked at the attributes, and I do have to say, in-game, his strength can be an issue at times. If you do come up against Messi in Ultimate Team, close him down, surround him, and battle with him. Knock him off the ball, because he is pretty weak. He's got the balance to stay on his feet, but he can be knocked off the ball due to his low strength. I haven't spoken about his pace much and that's because there really isn't much need to. We all know that he's absolutely rapid. The only thing to point out really is that he does have incredible dribbling that does make him feel much faster in game. And to be fair, as a whole, you're not going to get many players who feel better on the ball in this year's FIFA. There's a lot of fast players in the game, but some of them don't seem quite as quick when in possession of the ball. That is not an issue with this 93 Messi, he's absolutely rapid on and off the ball. Shooting wise, what can I say, it's Messi, he's clinical. Finesses are overpowered this year, and this guy is actually perfect for him. Long shots, simple finishes, power shots, this guy will put them all away with that magic wand of a left foot. He will also score headers if given the opportunity as well. His passing for a forward, as you can imagine, is outstanding. The crossing is great and the link-up play is awesome. It's only really physically that there's a downfall with this card. I also want to point out that positionally there are no issues whatsoever. He makes great runs regularly and also, as you can imagine with the stats that he's got, he is a great set-piece taker. So, as a whole, it seems to be a pretty positive review, so where are you expecting me to give him a higher rating? I'm going to give him a 9.2 out of 10, because of a few reasons. In previous FIFAs, I probably would have given him a higher rating, but um, as you'll have seen from previous reviews this year, I am going to be stricter with my ratings in this FIFA. As a whole, I see plenty of room for improvement with Messi this year, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of special cards in the coming weeks and months that are going to offer those improvements. One thing I do want to point out is, Messi in FIFA 18, I just don't feel he's as effective as he has been in previous FIFA, so that is something to be aware of and to know. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on this FIFA 18, 93 rated Messi. Let me know yours in the comments below if you have indeed tried him. Also, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And also comment below who do you want me to review next. But apart from that guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.